Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a blooming lovely day. Now today guys, I'm in the polytunnel again and I have Hans's absolutely beautiful Echinopsis subdenu data cactus that he has had for 20 years. Blooming beautiful in the polytunnel today. And just look at that gorgeous bloom. And it has an incredible scent as well. Absolutely beautiful, a bit of a scent, a bit like sort of linden blossom. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful heavenly white bloom. And just look at all that, the lovely yellow of the pollen all the way in the middle and the lovely yellow, yellow stigma there. And um, teach you a little bit underneath, lovely sort of peachy color petals as well, the outer petals, the lovely big hairy black hairs all growing along the flower stem. And two more buds as well forming, which is absolutely great news too. And I said, this, this is the sub, uh, Echinopsis subdenu data cactus, commonly nicknamed the sea urchin or the domino cactus, because obviously because of its appearance. We have a few different types of this um, variety in our collection. And I say, it's always like the little dots, why it's called the, the domino cactus. But this particular one is one that Hans has grown for 20 years and when he bought it, it was just a little little sort of um, round global type of cactus, sort of this, this type of shape, which is where they're, they're more commonly seen when they're younger. And as it's grown older, it's grown more columnar, as you can see there. Beautiful. And it flowers every year for him without fail. It's, it's a beauty. And this plant that Hans grew when he lived in Sweden, in Stockholm. And he brought it over, over to Ireland when he moved over two and a half years ago to live with me. <laughs> so this plant has, has a lot of history behind it. And um, we've got seed from it many, many times. So um, obviously we're hoping to get seed again this year. We've got a few more, this couple of us are coming into bud as well. So we've done a few cross pollinations with some more of the echinopsises there. There's seed pod grown on this other echinopsis, different variety again, not sure what, which type. And um, other seed pods as well on this one, another one of Hans's echinopsis is there. So we have a lot between us, a lovely lot in our collection. As you can see, this is all echinopsis on this table here, different varieties. Not these, this is echin echinocactus, but we sort of got them all, all together because they're sort of similar in shape. So aesthetically, it looks nice. But isn't it beautiful, guys? And I just wanted to share the beauty with you all. Seems very happy here in the polytunnel anyway. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, if you're new to the hobby, do please check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com and hover your mouse over the growing tips and the drop down bar will take you to little different sections. So guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye. I won't say bye, shake the plant, because I don't want the flower to drop off. <laughs>